Hello ladies, this is Angela Holt. I'm going to teach you how to take a set of indoor Christmas lights and make them shabby chic style featuring etch all at etchall.com. Um, as you can see, I took all the lights out of the screen before I began to etch each one and I placed them in a styrofoam uh, section, uh, styrofoam block here. Um, you definitely want to do this because it will make your life so much easier in etching each individual light because as you know, these things are teeny tiny and we really, and you really want to make a really pretty etch with these. The next thing I did here is I took the Etch All Designer Tips and I etched each individual light. Um, the Designer Tip will allow you to completely cover the light with ease and without any mess. Um, it is such a versatile tool and this is great for this type of project. There you see I have the light completely etched um, and it's awaiting for its time to be etched. You'll want to etch each original light for 15 solid minutes um, to make sure that there's a clean etch. Now, you do not want to run your lights underwater. Um, it will hinder them from working. So you would simply take a rag or a paper towel and you're going to wipe the etch all off. This will be some etch all that you cannot save, but it's just such a minimum, you, um, it will be fine. And as you can see here, I have, um, you see the etched light and then you see the one unetched. And when you see uh, the next video coming up, it's going to show you the difference between um, the soft ambiance and then the regular bright ambiance. So let's get started. Okay, ladies. Okay. So I spent several hours hand making um, these flowers here. And I wanted to show you how uh, they work. Okay. And uh, let's see. Okay, now, what I've done was to make these flowers, you're going to do your simple running stitch, as I've taught you before, and I used this lace here. Um, this is going to be a next month's kit, so don't worry, you're going to get a beautiful piece for to play with and create your own large flower if you want to. Now, what I've done was is I snipped off 18 inches, which is a half yard. Well, no, it's not. It's a little less than a half yard. No, it is a half yard, isn't it? Yeah, it's a half yard. Okay, so, um, I'm sorry, my brain's not working. I've been sick with this sign and stuff. Um, and I folded it in half like this. And then I've done a running stitch all along the top edge, pulled it together, tied off the end, and then I sewed the two ends together right here, and I had my beautiful flower. Now, uh, what I've done was I made 10 of those because I am doing a 20 light uh, strand of light. And I'm plugging up my my hot glue gun. There we go. Um, I've done 20 lights using these flowers. Now on these flowers, this is real simple. It's just using another type of lace, as you see here, running stitch, and then I took some of Gisela's rosettes that I had collected and I cut the center out of the rosette and I fit it, I, you know, I fitted it around the light. Now, as you can see here, to ensure that to less likely have a fire hazard, which I have made several of these and again, I have not had any trouble, but please, please, please follow the manufacturer's instructions um, that come in the box um, of lights. If you don't feel comfortable using uh, fabric, um, research, and uh, you can make flowers out of uh, egg cartons and all kinds of stuff. And I'll sh you know, they use artificial flowers made out of silk, so I don't see, you know, any problem in using this type of fabric. Okay, so, and I glued it to where it is below. 
you can see here, it's below that part. You know, it's below. So it's not engulfed over on top of the bulb. It's actually below the bulb base. Okay? And I did every other one. Like here. See? Every other one has a different flower. As you can see there. Cute, cute. These would be darling for a little baby's room, a little girl's room. Um, you know, or if like you, like I want, I want to add some more ambiance to my craft area. And um, so I made a shabby chic strand of beautiful lace flowers. As you can see there. Now, I'm going to show you how I put this on. When you make your flowers, make sure you know that they're even and everything okay let's see yeah, the gun's ready all right um of course the side that you sew the ends up is going to be towards the bottom you don't want to see all the unsightly um stitches and as you see i am doing it below right there below the point okay and I'm gluing, putting hot glue on one side and I'm squeezing it around the bulb base like that. You can see it's below the bulb base. Okay, I'm gonna move my lighting. I'm going to cut off my lights so you can see these things lit up, which I know they're going to be darling. There you go. Now, I have a beautiful strand of lights. Let me see. See? Are they not gorgeous or what? And etch all really, really made. Look how soft and beautiful that looks. Just so soft and dainty. And it's just enough luminescence just to make, you know, it just softened it so beautifully. So it's not so bright. It's just a soft suggestion, like a warm candlelight. And you do that by you dipping your etching the bulbs okay and see you don't have to pay 45 or 50 dollars for 10 strand of uh, lights you make your own and with a little bit of sewing and some ingenuity on uh, using your etch all you have a beautiful strand of lights that will definitely adore adorn anything And what I like about this is if the light bulb doesn't work, you can always get replace it. So, isn't that beautiful? Just stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. So, I hope this has inspired you to create and try out this wonderful craft. Um, I'm surely going to put this in my craft room and I'll have pictures. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. But please, please, please follow the manufacturer's instructions on your light. Um, and experiment, uh, what you can do is you can put it against uh, some fabric and see how it's going to do. But see, they're not, they're not, they're not even getting real hot. And I think that has a lot to do with the um, the etch all. The etch all. See, they're not even getting real hot or anything like normal Christmas lights would. No. So, I can't wait to see what you do, okay? Until next time, bye-bye.